Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer weiteren Folge The Longest Journey. Wir haben äh, die Geschichten alle erfolgreich dem äh, Castle Watch, dem äh, na, Schlosswächter, äh, vermittelt. Beziehungsweise uns angehört und die Fragen beantwortet, bla bla. Und jetzt können wir zur Königin. Wenn ich das richtig verstanden habe. Elation Teller. Genau, der Teller. Der Geschichtenerzähler. Come closer, human. Okay. Closer. I cannot see your face. Der macht die Augen auf. Closer still. Come sit here by me. There you are. <laughs> you see, my eyes are not what they used to be. Ages ago, I could spot a ladybug crawling up a straw of grass from 15 tree lengths up. Now, I have a hard time seeing my supper. But my ears, balance be praised, my ears, they are as good as ever. I could hear you outside, learning the tales my children tell. You are a good listener and a fast learner. They were interesting stories and your people told them well. That is what we do. The Elation are the keepers of the tales, and I am their teller, the one who must know all the tales told since the day we came to this world. How can you do that? How can you remember every story ever told? The secret is to tell them often and to tell them in your own words, not the words of your ancestors. Doesn't that mean that the stories change with every generation? Yes, as all tales must. Change is important. Otherwise, the tales will have no meaning to us. They will just be words. And we do not care about the words. We care about what the words tell us. Äh, verdammt intelligenter Ansatz. Das stimmt. Den Kern der Geschichte, die Idee muss man bewahren, nicht die Worte. How long have your people been telling stories? Since the beginning, human. Since we came to this world a long, long time ago. You're not from Earth? From Arcadia? Not according to our tales. We came on a great wind before the divide, when the Earth was one and humans had yet to learn of magic and science. But we were a different people then, and the tales we tell from that time are vague and incomplete. Like myths and legends, the younger relation pay little attention to these tales. Sometimes I worry they will be lost with me, these tales, and I am getting old, very old. I came to you to find answers to some important questions. Ask, and I will try my best to answer. Have you heard of an ancient god or dragon that lives beneath the sea? Once, long ago, when my people lived in harmony with the Merim, there were stories of an old god worshipped by the Merim who resided deep in the darkest depths of the ocean. According to legend, the old god had once brought the Merim into their realm, into the ocean, and he was now sleeping, resting, before the journey back. Where? To a great ocean amongst the stars. When the time came, he would gather the Merim and bring them home with him, back to their world, to their ocean. Strangely enough, we have a similar tale. It is said that the great wind that brought us here will someday return to bring us back to a place where we can soar forever on warm winds. Like heaven. In a way, perhaps. But without the need for any of us to die, the great wind will just sweep us up and carry us away. Every evening before I go to sleep, I recite this tale to myself. It is a comforting one. What do you know about the dry kin? The kin are numbered four. Or so our tales tell. Two in this world, two in the other. The mirror world. The white and the blue. The red and the green. Do you know where they are? No. The tales never say. 
The kin are elusive. They keep to themselves. I have never seen one myself, and I doubt any of my kind has. The tales do say that our past and our future are tied to the fate of the kin, but how I would not pretend to know. This is one tale that is yet to be told. Do you know anything about the Guardian's realm? This is human business. Would you not know more than I? Your people are the keepers of the tales. You remember more than humankind has forgotten. Please, I need to hear what you know. That is very little. The Guardian's realm is home to the Guardian in his tower. No one is permitted within except the Guardian who was, the Guardian who is, and the Guardian who will be. And of course the Dryak kin, who were instrumental in its making. Have you ever heard of the existence of a hidden entrance to his realm? Oh yes, yes, I have heard tell of such a thing, though I would not know where it is. I gather that one of the kin may be able to tell you. Thank you, I don't have any more questions. I am glad I could help you with some answers. I'm the Windbringer. I know you are. <laughs> it's strange to me to hear those words spoken. I did not think they would be in my lifetime. But here you are, standing in front of me as real as the sky is blue. I'm sorry I have to ask, but what is it that the Windbringer is supposed to do for you? I did not expect you to walk in here and have all the answers, child. The balance has both blessed you and cursed you, and it has sent you here to do what it wills. The Windbringer is said to be the first sign of the great wind that will take us away from here. For a long time, the Elation have lost the strength they used to have. Our bones have become weak, and our wings fragile. Where we used to be able to soar for days on strong winds, we are now using our legs to walk rather than fly. Why this is, we do not know. Ten Yen! You know of the reason for this? I'm just guessing, but it makes sense. Go on. The tales also say that the Windbringer will unite us with our past and end the age-old strife. I know. You must make peace and be reunited with the Marum. You share a common ancestry. I have always thought we did. The tales were too similar, the signs clear. But my people, they... they will have a difficult time understanding why and how this can be. If you don't, both the Elation and the Marum will die out. When war broke out between your people, and you were forced to move up into the mountains, it compromised a precarious symbiosis. A substance called Tanyan was abundant, where the Marum and the Elation lived in close proximity. It brought fish, and heat, and light to both your people. But now, living up in the mountains, your way of life, your diet, your customs and habits, they've all changed, and that's probably the cause of your brittle bones and fragile wings. Then we must make peace with the Marum, and restore the balance between us, so as to strengthen us both and prepare us for the journey that will surely come soon. When our sitting is over, I will speak to my people, and I will elect one representative from the Elation to meet with the Marum in the place of your choosing to open a dialogue. I guess it's time for you to talk to your people, and for me to make arrangements with the Marum. Where do you wish for our meeting to take place, Windbringer? You want me to decide? Um, well, I know. Send your ambassador down to the ancient caves by the beach. Inside, there are remnants of an old Elation settlement and a Marum city. It's a good place for your two people to meet, don't you think? Yes. And could you ask if they would bring their half of the stone? The stone? You have the other half? We have held on to it for centuries, knowing that someday it would be of use to the Windbringer. It will, trust me. Then we must make haste and arrangements. It is an important day, so let us not waste light. Go and wait for my ambassador in the caves.
It's amazing. This place is so beautiful. And the scent of sea and rock and nest. This scent is of home. This was home a long, long time ago, according to the tales. We lived in peace with the wet tail, uh, with the merry back then. Now you'll be able to live in peace again. And with the Tan Yan bringing fish to your doorstep, you'll be able to eat well and restore strength to your bones. Soon you might even be able to soar on the winds for days like you used to do. I hope you are right, Windbringer. And I hope that the wet, the Merum, will see the sense in it too. They are coming, are they not? They said they would. Hush, I hear something. We are here, Water Stiller, as was promised. Good. Now, as representatives of your respective peoples, you, the Queen of Amirim City, and you, guard to the Elation Teller, must fulfill the prophecy and join the two parts of the One Stone. We hope that our peoples may be joined again, Elation, and that we may live in peace and prosper. As do we, Merum, and we pledge to do all we can for this to happen. The stone is now whole, Windbringer, and the Elation and the Mirum will once again be as one. You may take it with you. Thank you. The both of you. Come now, April, and we will take you to our sleeping god. May his wisdom guide you and lead you down the right path. So, dann äh, treffen wir jetzt den, äh, den Gott aus der Tiefe. Da ist ein großer Stein, Large Rock. Ähm, ja, viel mehr scheint hier nicht zu sein. Okay, dann äh, fassen wir ihn mal an. Oder was? Uh, I don't think it's a rock. I think it's alive. It is alive. Ja, gut, okay. Und jetzt? Sand. Da ist The Sand. Sand is covering something. Well, sweep it away. Wische sie es weg. Oh. Oh. Small orifice. Was heißt orifice? Öffnung? It's some kind of organic sensor. Ein Sensor, eine... Hello? Is anybody in there? Just not if you can Scooby. hear me. Well, I guess it's an invitation of sorts. Mm, okay. Anfassen. It's soft and spongy. Schwammig. Schwammig ist es. It's some kind of organic sensor. Ja. It's soft and spongy. Okay, das... das bringt mir aber nichts. Ah, da kann ich kann ich irgendwie rein anscheinend, oder? There's air in here and it's dry. I swear I'm never taking a bath again. You. Ist ja widerlich. Muss doch baden oder duschen zumindest. Uh, circular Protusion. Jetzt bin ich völlig raus. Also Circular heißt rund, kreisförmig, Protusion. Keine Ahnung, was das heißt. That doesn't look like a natural protrusion. It's too big and round. I know you. Wow. Do not be afraid. Okay. I know what you are. Uh, you... you do? Yes. Yes. What would you hear? I do not like to be disturbed. 
I wish to be left alone. I wish to rest until the day of ascension. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I need some answers. Everyone needs answers. Everyone has questions. I am not the Oracle. I cannot answer all your questions. I don't expect you to answer all of them, but I was hoping for an answer to at least some of them. Then ask and be gone. What am I? What do you mean? You said you know what I am. What am I? You do not know. Then it is not I who should teach you about your heritage. You must make this discovery on your own. Listen, I'm tired. I'm wet. I'm at the bottom of the sea and I'm breathing with the help of a polyp stuck in my esophagus. So just cut the Buddhist bullshit about a journey of self-discovery and answer my question. Please? Your question has already been answered. That is all I will tell you. Your journey began with an answer. It is only now that you know the question. That's so not helpful, but thank you. I'm looking for a jewel called the Dragon's Eye. Yes. I have one such jewel. I guess that's it. Take it. Are you sure? Take it. It is yours now. It is part of your destiny. Okay. Tell me if it hurts. What is the day of ascension? The day when the kin return home. When my siblings come to me and we rise toward the stars for our journey back to our cradle. This is the day of ascension. So you're going back to wherever it is you came from? We will, eventually, when everything is ready. When what's ready? I will not answer that question. It is not necessary for you to know. I need to know where I can find the gateway to the Guardian's realm. So you come to me. They told me, well, they as in the few people who could tell me anything at all, they told me that if anyone would know, it'd be you. I know. When the earth was divided, there was a doorway left open where the tower was built. But it's moved, hasn't it? That spot, when Stark and Arcadia were created, that spot moved somewhere else. Into the sky. Amongst the stars. But where? I knew you were coming. 
Your journey has not been a quiet one. Even down here, I could hear you. I speak with the dark people. They are my messengers. They have prepared a map for you. With the entrance you are looking for. You knew I was coming and why? Then, okay, I know this is probably a futile question, but why didn't you send the dark people to me earlier? You could have saved me a lot of time and hard work. You are afraid of time and hard work. No, but it's the principle of it, isn't it? No, it is not. You had prophecies to fulfill. You had a purpose. Bringing my children together in preparation. This was important. And for that, I thank you. Now, I wish to sleep. You said something about a map? The dark people have it. They will meet you. I will bring you to them. What? Now? Yes. Hold on. Oh, oh, okay. Ich, ich, oh. Ich kann schon wieder äh, was machen. Also, äh, eine Arschvoll-Story. Ich ähm, überlege gerade, die Zeit ist eigentlich schon wieder rum, aber ich würde das gerne hier noch zu Ende führen. Das Schiff ist in einem dicken Fog, sehr mystisch. Danke, für mich mich an Bord zu Who are you? Uh, well, I thought you... I mean, didn't the old dragon... Well, I'm April Ryan, from Stark. And I guess you're a dark person. But who are you? I... I'm just a student. Not anybody special. You are special. Who are you? I'm not. I'm just... <sighs> I'm the Windbringer. I'm the Water Stiller. I'm April Bondu Mbata of the Banda and the Venar Kungang La. I'm a shifter. I will someday become the 13th Guardian, the Protector of the Balance. And I'm April Ryan. This is who I am. Yes, that is who you are. And you are a wave. Why am I, uh, a wave? You have a purpose. You play an important part in the cosmos. A wave is someone who propels people and events toward change, towards the future. And that's what I do? You are a wave. There are ripples from your passing, and they spread wide and far. Those ripples will never die down. The worlds will be changed by your journey. You're telling me that everything I do affects the universe? You cannot escape it. You are a wave. The ancient dragon, the blue of the Drake kin, told me you had a map for me. A map of stars, yes. It was made for you in our library, and given to me to hold. It is yours now. Keep it well. It is the only one. I'm 
looking for an ancient stone given to you by the Sentinel, the Fathers. You came for the stone. Of course we have it with us. Our ship would not have been chosen to meet you were it not for the stone we carry with us. Everybody's just waiting around for me to show up, so that they can give me stuff. Who knew adventuring was going to be this easy? It will not always be so easy. Of that I can assure you. But here is our stone. We entrust it to you. As we were instructed to do when the Fathers first entrusted it to us. Can this ship take me back to Mercuria? I mean, would you mind? We will bring you to Mercuria henceforth. It will take the night, but we will be there at first light. That's fine. Thanks a lot. You are free to rest here, to sleep, while we travel. The flames will keep you warm, but do not move too far away. My brothers are not friendly with outsiders. They do not take kindly to intrusion. I'll keep that in mind. I'm staying right here. Good. Sleep. Did you sleep? Very comfortably, thanks. Where are we? In the Mercuria Harbor. But there are barely any ships here. I do not know why. We must leave you here. We have other business. Carry your wave into the future, April. Whatever that means, I'll try. Where did all the ships go? They're gone. This can't be a good sign. I mean, duh. The city looks strangely quiet and deserted. And the sky. Those are not ordinary clouds. They look more like... like smoke. What's going on here? Okay. Eine Menge Story, eine Menge Quatsche. Ähm, ich beende diese Folge mal. Die ist schon sowieso viel zu lang eigentlich. Bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen und vielleicht bis zum nächsten Mal.